Joseph Williamson built his tunnels in the early 1800s, using hundreds of workers in order to provide himself with an underground kingdom of sorts. Nobody really knows why he did them because he left no written record of why he was doing it. In those days, making deep tunnels was expensive, but then again, on this land there was rock, which he could dig out and swap for bricks. And in this way, he provided employment for people. Those times, people want to believe in something beyond themselves, say an Armageddon cult. People believe perhaps the end of the world was coming, and some people dug themselves places in which to hide from Armageddon. What is FOWT? It is the Friends of Williamson's Tunnels. It is a charitable organisation based entirely on voluntary work and all we want to do is find out everything that Joseph Williamson did back in the early 1800s during the building of the tunnels beneath his land. They're located near the top of Edge Hill, which is just east of the city centre in Liverpool. There happens to be more than one organisation dealing with the tunnels. As far as the Friends of Williamson's Tunnels are concerned, you need to come almost to the top of the hill near the church and go across the road and visit the Paddington site and also on Mason Street, just down the hill and round the corner from Paddington. What has Friends of Williamson's Tunnels done? We started back in 1996 with a handful of volunteers, just a few people. And now we have actually got 1,400 members. The core of about 30 to 40 volunteers work every week. All come together in FOWT every Wednesday and every Sunday to beginning to make this into this wonderful thing that you can come and visit every so often. What does uh, the Friends of Williamson's Tunnels do now? Due to excavation efforts from FOWT, the Paddington Tunnels, the very deep ones which are 50 foot below to street level, the house site, as well as other interesting artefacts are open to the public occasionally to visit. You have to be invited to come, but it's that's dealt with through the website. During the excavation process, when stuff is being dug out that comes from all the time since Joseph Williamson was here, there are interesting things found amongst it, such as fine porcelain from China and from the Far East, drink bottles, old drink bottles which were made of heavy glass so that they didn't explode when you put fizzy liquids in. Poison bottles from medicines which people threw away because they knew they should never reuse the bottles. Over the years we communicate with our members by what we call the Mole magazine, which we published, a printed magazine originally. You can now get the Mole online if you are a member of FOWT. 